say this one. Well, it is, and you don't. And it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and you all know what that means. It is time to go on the road. Yeah, every Friday morning in the summer, we head to a local spot live for some fun in the sun. And today, our dear friend and co host, Will Ooh, Gilbert, is、shade. at one of our favorite places. This is going to be such a great morning Rocky Point State Park in Warwick. Good morning, Will. Good morning, guys. Well, let me tell you, we could not have had a better day weather wise. We're lucky enough to be here on the pier at Rocky Point with the mayor of Warwick, Mayor Frank p e r c o s i Thanks so much, Mayor, for coming today. Thank you for inviting me, Will. It's a beautiful day. It's great to be out here. It really is. If you wanted to showcase Warwick, today was the day to do it with the weather that we have. Absolutely, especially this year. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it,、uh, Pickens has been very, pretty slim. Well, sir,、uh, first of all, I never see you stop, so I want to ask you when do you sleep? I sleep a few hours every night. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been like that. I, I sleep four or five hours a night. Well, you are a busy guy. Now, I know this is a, is a state park, but this is on your turf, and I know you folks in Warwick take care of this park. What does this park mean to you?、Uh, to me personally, I grew up at this park. I, I lived about a mile away from here, less than a mile away from here. I was here all summer long on the rides. All my friends came with me. I was just reminiscing with a, a friend when、uh, the old dock was in this location. We used to dive off of it after school, and our school closed sometimes.、Uh, it, was, it was a great place to grow up.、Um, it's different now, but it still means a lot to Warwick residents and Rhode Island residents, too. And this pier that you're talking about is just absolutely beautiful. And all morning long, while we've been standing here, folks are walking. There's, there's、uh, people out there fishing this morning. So it's great. For the city and the state. It is. I mean,、uh, it was done before I got here. I don't get any credit for it, but it's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, the whole park is it's passive recreation. The walking track is actually owned by the city. That's the first thing that went in here. It's before the old park was even demolished.、Right. Um, the DEM, the state, took care of the,、uh, procuring the rest of the park, and we maintain it. And people just, I mean, thousands of people come here every day. And they love coming out here and walking on, these, on the trail that's here, and also just sitting down having some picnics as well, and also sitting by the beach back there. Exactly, and the best thing is this, the scenery.、Uh, look at the bay out、yeah. there. People love it. I mean, I could sit in here and watch it for hours.、Um, the other thing, too, for people who are watching who may have someone who has a disability, plenty of parking over here that they can come out here and easily get, get, get access to this. Exactly. I mean, the, the handicap parking is right there near the pier, and you come up the walking track if you have a wheelchair or a walker. It's very easily accessible. Okay, talk about some of your favorite memories of this park. Were you a daredevil? Did you get on some of these rides? Oh, yeah, I went on every ride. We went all the time. I mean, you know, we always knew the kids that were working there, so we really didn't have to pay all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, full disclosure.、Um, you know, we, we go on the rides every day. The flume was the favorite.、Um, you know, the, the line was always long. I always liked the bumper cars the best, but, you know, they were all great. And there were a lot of events at the function halls we had here the wind jammer and the palladium.、Um, I went to inaugurations there, I went to weddings. Birthday parties. It was just a great place. And I know there are going to be some、uh, events happening.、Uh, obviously, the weather has not been that great, and some of the events had to be pushed off. But still, summer's here, and there are things going on at the park. There are food truck events and other such events.、Um, the best thing to do is to go on to、uh, warwickrhodeisland.gov, warwickri.gov,、mm-hmm. and,、um, and take a look at the recreation、uh, page, and you'll be able to see a list of it. Okay. Well, Mayor, thanks so much for your time today and for coming out and reminiscing a little bit about Rocky Point. What a great,、uh, a great city you have and a great job he does every single day. So, we're going to be live at Rocky Point all morning. Maybe you're walking the trail and wondering what's going on. Come on over and say hello. Back to you. Time now to go back out on the road. We are making the most of summer vacation. Even though we haven't had the best weather throughout the summer so far, this weekend's looking pretty good, so we can definitely get out there and enjoy the ocean state at its best this weekend. And Will is live at Rocky Point State Park right now, chatting with a local filmmaker who knows a little about Little Roadie's beloved former theme park. Hey, Will. Hey, Ashley, that's right. His name is、uh, David Betancourt, and a lot of people probably recognize his, his, his name. He did a, a documentary back in 2007 called You Must Be This Tall. David joins us this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you, Will.、Um, now, we know you, you did this documentary about Rocky Point. What was it about this park and this place that fascinated you so much? Because when I think of Rocky Point,、um, your documentary comes to mind all the time. Oh man, this was the place to, to be. And when I was a kid coming here with my grandfather, it was some of the greatest memories.、Um, I just loved this, this place and this park. And I, I, you know, I wanted to show my kids、um, a little something about what we had here on, on Narragansett Bay. And that's how the whole thing started. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is this park kind of went through an evolution of different parks through many years back to the 1800s. 
That's right, yeah. It started as just a place for Sunday school children to have picnics in the 1800s. And then, you know, it kind of evolved from there and more and more rides and short dinner halls. And then, you know, now we're back to kind of where we were in the very beginning. Right. It's a place to walk and have picnics and, and enjoy uh, the Narragansett Bay. A um, couple of uh, interesting facts. One was the first presidential phone call. Rutherford B. Hayes was right up there on the hill. Yes, yeah, right. Rutherford B. Hayes uh, had a ho he was at a hotel here. He was actually speaking to Civil War veterans, and he um, made a speech, and then he got a phone, went on the phone and made the first presidential phone call um, uh, to Providence. They laid 13 miles of line for it, right. so it's Which pretty is very cool. cool. So, what do you think it is about this place that brings people? The park has been gone for a long time. Um, people still have these these memories, and are still really tied to this location. Yeah, this location is unbelievable. I mean, look at this day here. You know, you've got pe people fishing from the dock and uh, the boats and the, just the spot. It's just a magical place. It really is just a place for all of us to enjoy. And it's so cool that Warwick, uh, you know, you can come back here and, and walk the grounds. You know? grab, grab some clam cakes, chowder down the street, and come here and hang out. Yeah, I think there's food trucks coming here, yeah. too. So you can just uh, make, a, you know, make a, an afternoon of it. It's really cool. What was it like putting together the documentary for you? Obviously, the old footage was, was great to look at. Um, and how long did it take for you to get this, uh, get this together? So um, we met a lot of people, a lot of Rhode Islanders and New Englanders, and that's how this whole movie got made. I couldn't have done it without all of them. We just wanted to make it by the people for the people, and we just met as many people as possible, got old tapes, just started talking about Rocky Point, and it comes so easy to Rhode Islanders who uh, remember this park. All you, the memories. You yeah. look at the video and it brings you back to a much, uh, not to sound like someone older, but it brings you back to a much simpler time. Oh, it definitely does. Yeah, I mean, people used to tell us stories about riding their bikes here from all over the state, you know. It's such a small state, and this was such a perfect place for Rhode Islanders to go. And I think it still is in many ways. Yeah. And, and where, pe where can people see the movie? Oh, you can catch it on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, David, ben, uh, you know, I don't know, at David Bencourt. I don't know what it is. But um, uh, I put up a lot of stuff about Rhode Island. I'm, you know, I'm a Rhode Island filmmaker. I just love to tell stories uh, that are around me. So. Well, it really is. And, David, thanks so much for, no for coming, down to, so much. coming down today and, uh, and looking back at some of that great video from Rocky Point. It really is a special place to be uh, today and actually always, if you have family members coming down here to walk, maybe grab a, uh, a picnic while you're down here, enjoy some great food. So we're going to be here till 10 o'clock this morning. We've got a couple of more things going on while we are here. Back to you. Time now to go back out on the road one last time this morning. All hour, we've been checking in with Will over at Rocky Point State Park, where he is kicking off our weekend. Will, it looks so beautiful out there today. How's it going? Look, I'm telling you, if you had to have a picture perfect day here at the pier on Rocky Point, today is the day for that. The sun is shining, it's beautiful weather out here. And one of the things we've been telling you all morning long is if you are a Rhode Islander or if you meet a Rhode Islander, one thing that they absolutely have always loved all of their life is Rocky Point. Many of those folks have great stories to tell, great memories of growing up here as a kid. So we met up with a few of those people to see what memories they have and why they love this place so much. To come to the park when you were younger. I did yeah, I did when I was a young young boy. My dad was in the Navy, so we came back here when I was maybe 10 years old, eight years old, and I, we used to come to the parks around here, and it was a great time. I hate to see it go, but I like what they did with it. It does. It looks really nice, right? It does. I'm also a rock climber, and now there's rock climbing in the park that you can go to. That you used to you used to go over it in the um, the tramway they had, and you'd go and I'd look down at that rock and go, wow, and I remembered it. So now you can come in here and climb. I love it. You used to work at Rocky Point, and it was your first job. Yes, it was my first job. I was a busboy. I hired as a busboy for 90 cents an hour. You folks have a lot of great memories of Rocky Point. Yeah, a few of them, yeah. I, I came down here with my parents years and years ago. We Maybe uh, once a year in the summertime, we go in the swimming pool, hot dogs, hamburgers. This is two Rhode Islanders, if I ever saw them, with their Dunkin' Donuts at Rocky Point. Now, you used to come to Rocky Point. Yes, I have many times. Yes. Now, you had some great memories of Rocky Point, too, right? Oh, yes. Yep. We've been in and out here for, I guess, 30 years. Did you come here years ago? Yes. 
when I was a child. Yeah. Uh, what was one of your favorite things to do while you were at the park? Oh, I used to like to play the games. <laughs> that and ride the, the flume. It's beautiful now, you know, the pier. I haven't seen anybody catch any fish, but uh, yeah, we walk up there. The Rocky Point was just did that to everybody, the whole, everybody in the state. Um, doesn't matter where you live. You, got, you come back here and you got to go see Rocky Point, you know. Did you ride a lot of the rides? Absolutely. You know, and I don't remember a lot of the names of the, the rides in this park. I remember more across the bay in that other park there, Crescent Park. But um, Rocky Point was the bigger park in my mind, and I, so I always wanted to come here. Were you a daredevil? Did you get on the rides? All the time, yeah. My kids, my kids too. And when I was a kid, every year if you passed the first grade, second grade, if you pass, you get to go to Rocky Point. That was in my family, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Rocky Point, you know. Did you get on the rides? Not me. Not me. Uh, my, my sons used to harass me until I would get on one, and it was a mini ride. But uh, the they, they loved the rides. Were you a daredevil? Would you get on any of these rides? No, I didn't like it. <laughs> I was afraid of them. But we used to come every Sunday. My parents used to come over here, and we used to play the games and ride the rides. We'd stay a couple hours. It really does hold so many great memories for so many people. Now, a couple of interesting facts that we found out watching David's, uh, David Betancourt's documentary and then doing a little research along the way. A few of the rides that were here at Rocky Point are still in use, believe it or not. The Flume is actually at a park, an amusement park in the Philippines and is still in use. The Corkscrew, up until, uh, up until recently, was still at a park in uh, Washington State and still in use as well. So. Those rides are still around. People have great memories of this park, and it really is a beautiful place to come down, enjoy the sunshine on a day like this, hang out on the pier, and as everybody does, have some clam cakes and chowder. Back to you.